Okay, continuing to work through our limits playlist and we're on to limits at infinity. In the previous video, in the previous video, we looked at situations where we had limits as X was approaching infinity. Now in this video, we're looking more at situations where X is approaching negative infinity. And as I mentioned previously, in this kind of situation, we could actually just ignore all the lesser degree terms and just focus on this in the situation because this is gonna be more powerful. So this is gonna kind of overwhelm everything and we don't have to worry about that. But just to show it, let's just factor this. So what I can do is factor an x to the fourth out of this and write this as three. Three plus one over x squared minus nine over x to the fourth. Now we can see that what's happening is this term's gonna be going to zero and this term's be gonna be going to zero. And that's why we, we said we could ignore this part right here. And now looking just at minus infinity, if we take it to the fourth power, well, that's just gonna give us infinity. We don't have to worry about the negative sign because we have an even power. So this is going to infinity three times infinity. So this, this limit's just gonna be infinity. But now let's look at a really similar situation with a similar polynomial, still going, still looking at the limit as x approaches minus infinity. We're gonna look at three x to the fifth plus x squared minus nine. Now we're not gonna bother to factor this time. It's like I said, this always works that the lesser degrees are gonna be going to zero. So we're gonna just cancel that off. But now if we take minus infinity and plug it in here to three X to the fifth, well, this is not going to infinity. It's going to minus infinity because we have an odd power. So you just think of like, if you have a large negative number, it doesn't matter that it's infinity. You just think if this is a large negative number and you have it to an odd power, it's gonna be a negative number. So this is gonna actually be going to negative infinity. Okay, next we're looking at something pretty similar, but we have a rational expression now, but we have two polynomials. And what we can do is really the same kind of thing we did in the previous problem where we just evaluate these separately. So we do that if we just focus on the numerator and we think of it just as a polynomial, well, these terms are gonna cancel the same way they did in the previous one. And then doing the same thing in the denominator, all the lesser degree terms are gonna cancel. So we can just cancel it off and we're really just looking at x to the sixth over seven x to the sixth but then we can just cancel our x to the sixth, right? And so all we have left here in the numerator is a one, so this is actually gonna be the limit of this, is gonna actually be just one over seven. And just notice now, if we took the minus off this, and we were just looking at the limit as x is approaching infinity, well, it's gonna be the exact same thing. Everything's gonna cancel the same way. The even power made everything positive, and so we'd still end up with one over seven. Okay, one more of these, we're looking at the limit as x approaches negative infinity, and now instead of having a polynomial in the numerator, we just have a number three. Now, if we evaluate this, again, we can just evaluate the denominator, just evaluating this as a polynomial as we've done before. We can ignore the lesser degree terms. Now we just kind of plug in here. If we just plug in minus infinity here, because it's an odd power, we're gonna have a minus infinity times five. So in the denominator, we're gonna end up with minus infinity. And then in our numerator, we're just gonna have three. Now you may think because we have the minus sign here, we wanna do this as minus zero, but actually because this is going to zero, zero is just zero. And so the limit for this one is just gonna be zero. Okay, we'll stop it there. We've got a few more videos coming on limits and infinity, and then we'll move on to something else. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.